Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Alhamdulillah, I'm back with the Quran studies. Uh, for the summer break, I was in Pakistan, so I was not able to uh, continue with the uh, videos regularly. But Alhamdulillah, I'm back now after the break. So, inshallah, uh, we'll be continue um, making videos regularly, daily, Monday through Thursday. Inshallah, we'll try to make a video on Friday as well, but Monday to Thursday, inshallah. Um, that's my plan. So, today, I'm going to be starting Surah Tariq. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing the introduction and I think the first four ayahs today. So, Auz Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The name of the surah is taken from the first ayah, was Sama Iva Tariq. Time of revelation is that this surah is from the early Makkan period. And ayah number one, let's start with that. Was Sama Iva Tariq. And it means by the heaven and the night visitor. Night visitor is the star. Uh, Allah swears by the heaven and what he has placed in it the radiant stars and we see those stars uh, if we go out um, at night um, then we see the stars and uh, that's why Allah swears by it so it's something that we can actually see then the next uh, is Wama Adraka Maktarik and it means that what do you know what the night visitor is now one thing that it should be kept in mind here that the arabs they had like they lived in a desert there, there wasn't much scenery to see there much there wasn't much greenery there what they only saw was at night the beautiful sky with all the stars which was so clear so allah is waiting by the stars because that is something that they would see every night and that is something that was really included in their discussion especially in their poetry as well so um allah has brought to their attention something that there's they were familiar with and allah says that what do you know what the night visitor is and it means that it is the piercing star. Athaqib means the piercing. So Katada and others have said that the star has been named Tariq because it is only seen at night and is hidden during the day. And then the next ayah, which is the last ayah for today, ayah number four says, In kullu nafsil lamma alayha hafiz. It means that there is no living being, but there is a protective protector over it like we have the angels uh, always there um, protecting us the two angels that are on our right and left writing our um, records and then the next other ones which are protecting us so meaning every soul has a guardian over it from Allah that protects it from the calamities and when it is destined for uh, for someone to have a calamity to have an accident or something the angels that get they, they just get to a side and um, that that thing happens and uh, um, these were the ayahs for today. Let's just revise them real quick. Was sama iwa tariq. Allah swears by the tariq, the nightly star. Wa ma adra kama tariq. What will make you understand what that is? An najmuk saqib. It's the piercing star. In kullu nafsil lamma alayha hafiz. That for every soul, there is a protector. So inshallah, I'll continue this um, surah tomorrow. Fi manu